Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to learn about Pythagoras theorem. Now, this theory is invented by Mr. Pythagoras, okay, and uh, is very useful in allowing us to determine the unknown length in a right angle triangle. So, to be able to apply Pythagoras theorem successfully, you need to know some of the basics of a right angle triangle. Okay, so first we need to identify. We need to be able to identify. What is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle? Okay, so later I'll be going through with you some examples. Okay, and uh, having known the hypotenuse, you further need to know how to apply the formula c square equals to a square plus b square, and uh, use this to find the unknown lengths uh, of a right angle triangle when you are given two other lengths in the triangle. Okay, and uh, in this formula, c will actually represent the longest length of a right angle triangle. Now, the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, as mentioned just now, is the longest length of a triangle. Okay, and it always faces the 90 degree of the right angle triangle. Okay, so if we look at the three triangles over here, okay, for this first triangle, okay, this length here, do you see this length here? Okay, this length here is facing the 90 degree. So we will call this length the hypotenuse. I can mark the hypotenuse using a symbol HYP. So this length over here is called the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Okay, let's take a look at this example. Which one is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle? Okay, so if you can see, this length is facing the 90 degree. So this length will be the hypotenuse. Similarly for this length, which one is the hypotenuse? Okay, so if, as we can see, this line over here is facing the 90 degree. So therefore, this length is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. Okay, do you understand how to identify the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle already? Alright, let's take a look at an example now. Okay, so we have a right angle triangle over here. Now, in order for us to find the unknown of a right angle triangle, we need to have two other values that are given to us in order to apply Pythagoras here. So in this case, do we have two values given to us? Yes. Okay. And uh, which length now is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle? Okay, so if you see this, this line is facing the 90 degree. So we'll mark this line as the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Okay, now to apply our formulas, we need to apply the formula c square equals to b a square plus b square. And we always start with the longest length. So in this case, we will start with x. Okay, so we'll apply the formula now. x square is equals to 4 square plus 3 square. Now, the choice of your a and b does not matter. Okay, I can choose this as my a. I can choose this as my a. Okay, it doesn't matter because uh, 4 square plus 3 square is the same as 3 square plus 4 square. So the choice of a and b does not really matter. What? matters most is the uh, hypotenuse okay and we must always start off with the hypotenuse right so in this case when the hypotenuse is unknown we can actually uh, just apply the formula and get the formula here now in order to find the value of x we will now use a calculator to calculate this value so x square will be equals to 3 square plus 4 square if you press this in your calculator you get 25 okay now to find the value of x what do we need to do now Okay, we need to take square root. So when we take square root, you get x is equals to 5. Okay, but take note, when we take square root, how many answers do we have? Okay, we have two answers, right? One positive, one negative. So therefore, uh, in order for us to be clear, uh, we will need to reject the negative 5 here. Okay, because length cannot be negative. Okay, and... Uh, this will be the answer for this question. X will be equals to 5. Do you understand how to do it now? Right. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So this time we are looking at another uh, example where the shorter length is unknown. Now the shorter length can be here, the shorter length can be here. It does not matter. The method will be the same for this case. Right. So in this case, again, we apply the formula. But before we apply the formula, we find out where the hypotenuse is. So... Do you notice that this length 
is facing the 90 degree. Okay, so now we will label this as the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Okay, so this length is the hypotenuse. And to apply the formula, we start off with the hypotenuse. So 13 square is equals to y square plus 5 square. Okay. Now, do you notice that 13 square and 5 squares, they are on different sides of the equations? Okay. So, previously, we have added the values, right? But because they are in different sides, now we will do a subtraction of values. Okay. So, now y square will be equals to 13 square minus 5 square. Right? Okay. And uh, if you use your calculator, y square will be equals to 1, 4, 4. Okay, just press your calculator and you'll be able to get the value. Okay. To find the value of y, what do you need to do? We'll take square root. So y will be equals to square root of 144. Okay, and our answer will be 12. Okay. Uh, again, uh, whenever we take square root, we have two possible answers. But because length is always positive, we will reject the negative 12. And so we write it down. Okay, the answer for y will be 12. Okay, why do we need to write down this? Okay, writing down reject negative 12 right, will indicate to the examiners that you know that there's a negative answer, but because length is always positive, we are rejecting the negative 12. Okay, so do you know how to do this question already? All right, let's take a look at the harder example. Okay, now in this question, we are supposed to find the value of z. Okay, uh, but do we see any right angle triangles in this uh, diagram? Currently, there's no right. Okay, but are we able to create a right angle triangle? Yes, we are able to do so, right? Okay, all we need to do is we need to insert a line okay, at this part. And by drawing the line over here, we will have created a right angle triangle. Okay, now having this right angle triangle over here, do we know what is the value of this length? It's 8 meter, right? Okay, because it has the same length as the base. So we will know the base. Are we able to calculate the height of this triangle triangle? It's possible. Eh? Right? So we will take 22 minus 16. We'll get a value of 6 meter. Now, when you are given these two lengths of the right angle triangle, are you able to calculate the value of Z? Yes, we are able to do so now. So all we need to do now is we will apply Pythagoras theorem. And uh, first we identify the hypotenuse. So 6, 8 and Z, which one is the hypotenuse? It's the Z meter, right? So we label this as the hypotenuse. We start off with the hypotenuse. Z square will be equals to 6 square plus 8 square. Okay. We use our calculator over here. Z square will be equals to 100. Okay, and to find the answer, we just take square root. So Z will be equals to 10 meters. Okay, and uh, to indicate that we understand that there are two answers, we will reject negative 10. Okay, so are we clear about this? So all in all, right, uh, there may be many, many different questions uh, which uh, involves very co complicated diagrams. Okay, but what you must remember is you always try to create right angle triangles, and by making use of the right angle triangles, we will be able to identify uh, where is the hypotenuse and where are the shorter lengths, and applying the formula c square equals to a square plus b square, you will therefore be able to find the unknown length of a right angle triangle. Alright, so this will sum up the lesson for Pythagoras theorem. Okay, hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Okay, we'll see you next time.